friends, it's Tanya. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, thank you so much for stopping by and I would love it if you consider subscribing. I'm glad to be back for a second time. Um, I'm telling you this stuff just does not want to leave my body, it seems like. Um, I'm still having the cold sweats. I sound really nasally and things like that, but, and I'm tired. But um, Melvin's getting a lot better, but he always gets better quicker than I do. I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, thank you so much for your prayers and your sweet comments. All right. So what I have for you today is this beautiful um, bookcase that Melvin built for me. I told him what I wanted and he totally blew my mind. He is so talented. Okay. So I will flip it around and show you this. Um, and it does not take up a lot of room in our dining room, which I'm thrilled about. It's like we actually have more room. And you can move the chairs out without any problems. And you can open these doors without any problems. So I'll let you see all that in a minute. So what I'm going to do is take the camera down, show you this. And then in the video, I'm going to have um, a brief clip, not a long one of how we built it. It's not going to be a video on how it was built. It's mainly going to be a decorating my shelves and giving you some shelf styling tips, really. But I cannot wait to get this bookcase decorated. So let me flip this around and then we'll get going. All right, this is it. I love it. I'm totally obsessed with it. Uh, we put beadboard in the back and crown molding at the top and i'm trying to keep it out of this light because it really is makes it hard to see i have three no i have four uh doors down here that open maybe i'll go over to the other side and you can see better i think this might be a better angle okay so there it is ignore that right there i was painting and i got the wrong color and i've been so sick i haven't been able to finish touching it up. So right here is the top and it comes down like this. And we wanted it so that it looked like it was a freestanding, um, that's my stool there, <laughs> a freestanding piece of furniture. And I love how it turned out. And then this opens this way. And this one opens this way. And I have tons of storage in there for decor. And then I wanted these to open that way. So they both open. But I could not be more pleased with how this turned out. All right, before we continue with the video, I'd like to say a portion of this video is in a paid collaboration with Dossier Perfumes. If you don't know anything about Dossier Perfumes, it's really simple. They make high-end, iconic scents at a fraction of a price. They source their ingredients from France, so you're not skipping on the quality at all, just the high markups. And they are vegan, cruelty-free, paraben-free, and I believe it's fat phthalate-free. And um, they don't bother my allergies. I love them. The scents are delicious, and they last. You can get them in diffusers, candles, perfumes. They have them for men, women, or unisex. I really think you'll love them. I'll put the link in the description box to check out some of their perfumes or candles or diffusers. Um, and they have an unconditional 30 day money back guarantee. So you can't beat that. But I wanted to show you some of my favorites. This is Floral Marshmallow. I love this candle. I've burned it many times, but to be honest, I just set it in my house and the scent that it throws is delicious. You can walk by and it's just, uh, oh, that smells so good. So I think I'm gonna pick up another one of these in a couple months because I love it and I, I wanna have a backup and I think I'm gonna give it to mom really for her birthday. Then here are the, some of their perfumes that I really like. Now this one right here, the Floral Marshmallow, they have a perfume that goes with this if you wanted. But the Citrus Peony is delicious. They have the magnetic caps, so they look so high-end. And then they have Citrus Matcha. I just got that the other day. And then Aquatic Coconut. I got that the other day, and I love them. And like I said, the scents last. 
So I'll, I'll go ahead and put the link in the description box below where you can order. And I have a coupon code that is Magnolia5 that will give you 5% off. So let's get back to the video and I'll show you very briefly how this was put together and then we'll start decorating it. All right, we went to Lowe's and I wanted to have two smaller cabinets in the center and then two larger ones on the outside to give the look that I wanted. The smaller ones were $79.99 and the larger ones were $99.99. And they were unfinished, so we just went ahead and picked these up. I'm a visual person, so I had Melvin put them down so that I could see what it was going to look like. And I think I'd drive him crazy, but he's gotten used to it. So here it is on our little buggy, and we bought four of them. You could make this as long or as short as you wanted. And we bought some kilts, but um, I really, I used it, but I would not get it again. I don't think it really helped much. Now here it is in the dining room. We set it up. We were talking about a base, how we were going to make the base, how he was going to hook the little cabinets together to make it one unit. We didn't want it to look built in. And right there, I'm talking about how that looks awkward. And he said, well, I can fix that. And he showed me his plan for how he was going to fix that. And um, he has his headlamp on because a lot of this was done after dark on the back porch. But um, here he has it all glued up and uh, fixed and here he's clamping them together and he's going to screw each individual section together and then basically he just started building what we wanted and there it is and this is the bottom shelf and I painted everything and um, you can see he made the little feet and he's making pocket holes so that he could attach I believe he attached it to the top. It's been a while, so, so I don't remember. I think that's how he did it. And I was trying to keep up with sawdust. Okay, first we're gonna start in this middle shelf. I'm going to be putting in here this picture that I picked up at Target a long time ago. And I did, I loved it, but I didn't have anywhere to put it. Now I do. Like I said, I'm adding gold touches into my decor, and I love it. Look how good that looks. Okay, next, I'm just going in with this Magnolia Table book and this book from Hobby Lobby. Sorry if it's a little dark. Seems like it might be. Next, I'm going in with this book box. Well, it's just a really gold box. I picked up at, at home. I had it in a haul not long ago. And I'm going to set that right there, and I think that is going to be beautiful. Next, I'm going in with this candle holder and this candle from Amazon, and I'm going to set it right here. And then my little bell that I thrifted. And I think that completes the middle shelf. Now let's go over there. I have this picture that I picked up at Home Goods, and I love the little brown speckles. And I, I'm kind of going for a French country, French provincial look in here, and I'm loving it. Now this is one of the viral Walmart little um, containers. You really could put flowers in it. It has a little drain hole in it, but I'm not using it for that. I'm just gonna set it up here and I'm loving that look. Look how this is playing together, so adorable. Okay, I'm going to be putting in here boxes. They have these on Amazon, and I'll link everything that I can find in the description box below. But I picked these up at Walmart, and I love them. They look just like the ones on Amazon, so I'm gonna put this one here, and then I'm going in with this. You get a set of two, and I just think they are beyond adorable. All right, then I thought this beautiful plant from Target would look gorgeous on top of this. It gives height, it adds greenery, texture, and interest. Then I found this man here, or woman, I don't know. Some of you said it was a, a man. Um, I think that does look like a bow to me, but whatever. 
I may end up warming this up, but I've been so sick, there's no way I can right now. And I'm just gonna set him or her, <laughs> depending on how you look at it, right like that, like they're looking out this way. And I think that just is the perfect touch for that section. Now we're gonna go down here. Book boxes are great to decorate in your shelving with, on your end tables, coffee tables, whatever. And I picked these up from Hobby Lobby. I've had most of this for a long time, except the ones that I told you that I'd hauled recently. So I'm gonna put this one right here like that. And then I'm just gonna set these two right like this. This I made a long time ago using IOD molds and I distressed it, it was just a regular paint can. I did this on my channel a long time ago and I thought, I'm going to bring it out. I love how it looks and to me it sort of ties in with the little um, Roman or Greek guy that we have up here or girl. So I love how that's looking. Next, I'm going in with this gorgeous piece from Hobby Lobby gonna set it right here. And these shelves are very sturdy. This is solid wood. And then I had this from Hobby Lobby I've had forever. And I thought I would put that right in the center. It forms the triangle and it looks so beautiful. I love how this is coming together so far. Next, we'll go over there. All right, I wanted to pull in some more greenery to tie in with the greenery over there and right here. So I got that at Target and I'm gonna put it right there. And this cream color ties in as well. Then many of you may remember when I picked up these books at Hobby Lobby and green is such a hot color and I really love it, it's soothing. So I thought, well, I'll just add this right here. And then I have this from Walmart, this little knot and it looks perfect right here to just set on there. It's the perfect gold accent, and I'm beyond obsessed with this. Okay, now we'll go to this middle section. Now for this shelf down here, I found this at Target. It's very light, but I love the cream collar because it ties in with all my other cream. So it's kind of like a dough bowl, really, so I'm gonna put it in the center. And then this right here, I bought a long time ago off of Timu. You got two. I don't really buy off of them anymore, but I did get that. And then this is from Hobby Lobby. And I thought I'd put that right in the center. Then that greenery is just coming down like this in a triangle again. And then I have this match cloche from Walmart. They have them on Amazon. Here's the striker. I'm just gonna set it right here. Then I thrifted this little candle snuffer. I'm gonna set it right in here. And I thrifted this. Now this candle holder came from Hobby Lobby. Candles came from Amazon. But I just love the glow they add in there. And like I said, the accents of gold. Now I thrifted this little candle holder, but I thrifted the bell as well that I showed you up there. All right, okay, let's go over here. Okay, now you can see how, what you can see of this is playing together so nicely. I love this. It adds a, like an upscale, updated look to our home, and I love this. Now I also thrifted this. Totally obsessed with this, so I'm just gonna set it here. I love the warm tones of this and the wicker plays off of that seagrass that I have up there. All right, now I bought this picture frame at Home Goods. The picture in it, I printed off of Etsy and I put it in there. I'll link it if I can find it again in the description box below. I would have preferred had this glass been out of this one, but it is actually attached and I don't wanna tear it up. So I'm gonna set this right here. It's adding more texture with the picture, how it looks. I'll show you up close. Plus that's picking up all that gold that I'm adding. Now this one, this frame came from Home Goods as well. And that is the picture that I got off of Etsy and just put in there. Now this, I took the glass out. Love it, okay? 
and I'm just going to sort of layer it like that. That is so pretty. I'm obsessed. Okay, let's go to our last one. All right, when we went to Dallas in November, I thrifted two of these books, and I love them. I love the leather. I love the color. I just love everything about them. So I'm going to set this one up like this. Then I'm going to lay this one down. Then I'm going in with this from Hobby Lobby. I love how aged and distressed it looks. I'm gonna set it right on top of there. I'm not gonna put anything in it. And then I'm going in with another one of these little vessels from Walmart. And I'm gonna set it right here. It matches the bigger one and just a garden ball. And that adds our green element in. I love how this is looking. Now let's go up here. Okay, for my last shelf here, I almost missed it. I don't know how, but anyway, I bought this moody picture at Target and I loved it. It has the moodiness and the gold. I'm gonna set it right in here. It ties in with my other picture. Then this beautiful bowl was Threshold Studio McGee from Target. I'm gonna set it right here. It brings in all those wonderful pottery pieces. Then this little pretty little picture I thrifted. I'm gonna set it right here. And this gorgeous candle holder, I thrifted it. You can adjust this and it makes, as your candle would burn down, you could push it up. I love it. It's from France. So I'm just gonna set that right like that. And let's take a look at it. All right, this is what we have. This makes such a statement in our home. I love it. Now, like I said, don't pay any attention to this right here. I was really sick. I was trying to paint it. I got the wrong wall color. I have to touch that up later. But like I said, we added crown molding. We added a little detail right under that lip to give it an extra flair. And like I said before, we made it look like a freestanding piece of furniture to match our server. This is what we have. I love it. It is so pretty. And you can see how the greenery goes diagonally or like that. The pictures go, that color goes diagonally. I mean, I just have so much going on here and I love it. And then you have those gold accents. Like I said, I could not be more pleased with how this turned out. Now, like I said, I have this, this chair removed because I was using it to stand on and I just haven't put it back, but you can open those doors and close them. This is such an easy build. If we would have bought this, it would have been 4,500 to $5,000 easily I've looked. We have nowhere near in this. We may have seven, $800 in it, but I love it. So once again, I'd like to thank Dossier for continuing to support my channel. It means a lot to me. I'll put the link in the description box to order. Don't forget to check it out. You won't be disappointed with their quality. All right, now I don't know if I'll see you Wednesday or not. Normally I upload uh, Wednesdays and Fridays, but I'm still not 100%, and I think I've been talking to Melvin and Mom, and I think that they even agree with me that maybe I need to take Wednesday off and just kind of rest. But I'll see you next Friday, and I can't wait for that. But I wanted to show you my shelves. I've been dying to show you these. They have been built since early January, I think it was, um, right after I got sick, sometime after the beginning of January. So I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you got some self, shelf styling inspiration from this video. So let me get Maggie and let her say hi to you. Well, here is the baby. Maggie, you go say hi to your friends. She said, hi, hello. She said, I love you. She said, it's a hard job being mommy's nurse all the time. Say we lay on the couch all the time and sleep. <laughs> so until next time, bye guys.